polycythemia. When we say polycythemia, it's basically a disorder in which there is an increase to a point in which there is too much RBCs or red blood cells in the body. Now, I want to talk specifically more towards polycythemia vera because it's more common and it's fatal if it's untreated. Now, what happens when there is too much red blood cells in the body is that the blood becomes thicker than normal, right? It becomes what they call hyperviscuous due to the fact that these patients have plenty of RBCs to go around the body, you would think that these patients would not have any problem with oxygenation. But in contrary, it's actually the opposite. Due to the fact that the RBCs is greatly increased in the body, the oxygen carrying capacity of each RBCs is, is very impaired. Therefore, the clients would then show signs of hypoxia, right? So they would appear purplish or cyanotic obviously because the blood in the tissues are poorly oxygenated. They would also have some itching. The clients would show itching. This is due to the fact that some of the blood vessels are dilated due to peripheral resistance due to the problem of tissue oxygenation. Now the thick blood or the hyperviscous blood due to a large amount of RBCs, when it goes through the tissues, it places an increased demand in the heart. And to compensate for this, the heart needs to pump more blood resulting in hypertension. Now, when the thick and hyperviscous blood goes through the smaller vessels and the vascular areas in the body, the blood flow can become so slow and it can, it can cause stasis, vascular stasis, and this can lead to thrombosis, right? A clot formation within the smaller vessels. And when this occurs, there would be an occlusion and this occlusion can lead to farther hypoxia. So it's a cycle and it gets worse and worse. So what do we expect to see in these clients? Well, these clients would usually be fatigued. They would have shortness of breath. They would have itchiness and red discoloration within the skin. Now, obviously these symptoms are being manifested due to the thickening of the blood and the decrease of oxygenation in the system. It is also very important to keep in mind that individuals with polycythemia vera have an increased risk of uh, developing DVT or deep vein thrombosis which can travel into the bloodstream and get dislodged into the lungs and cause pulmonary embolism which is very fatal. So how do we treat these patients? Well, a procedure called phlebotomy would be done and basically phlebotomy removes some of the blood from the body. The procedure involves a needle being inserted to the veins. It's almost very similar to the process of um, donating blood. Now phlebotomy reduces the blood cell count and starts to bring the blood thickness closer to normal, right? What would occur is usually a pint of blood is usually removed each week until the hematocrit level approaches to normal. Take note that aspirin could also be given to other patients to reduce the risk of blood clots.